Pick, win, and drive time. Mark Malusis with the owner of Empire Automotive Group, Michael Brown. What's going on, Michael? How's everything? Everything's great, Moose. Divisional round edition. We've been doing this throughout the course of the NFL season. What you need to do, go to shopempireauto.com slash pick, win, drive. Register. It's free. Michael makes a selection against the spread. If he's right, we draw your name after you register. You know what? You get a shot at a Toyota Corolla at the end of the football season. So, wild card weekend in our rearview mirror. Before we yeah. talk a little football, talk Jets, Giants, react to wild card weekend, look ahead to the divisional round. Every time I turn around, Michael, Empire Automotive Group, you guys are expanding. What do you guys we're got growing. going on? Yeah, we're growing. We uh, we you know we came off uh, growing in the boroughs with the Long Island City stores, yep. and now uh, we've closed on a uh, on a nice Volvo store in Smithtown. So we have got Volvo as a brand in the stable and. We couldn't be more excited about so it. So right now, how many stores do you have open? Uh, we have 13. 13, how many brands? Oh, gosh, I think 19. 13 stores, 19 yeah. brands. Yeah. I mean, you guys are all over the place, yeah. outreach into the community as well. Yeah, we're trying. We're trying. That's big news. Good stuff, Volvo, great brand. Congratulations on that addition. Thank you so much. You Thank got you. it. We got a lot to get into, Michael. Let's start talking a little bit about the locals, right? Yeah. Last we spoke, we talked a little bit about the Giants. You and I were kind of in agreement about Joe Judge keeping his job. Yeah. The very next day, Joe Judge lost Boom. his job. He's out. Giants going in a completely new direction. John Mara said, you know, there was really no path forward after what happened down the stretch. Giants losers of six in a row. Number one, you agree with that decision and what the Giants are trying to do here, bring in a new GM and then make a decision, the GM along with Mara and everybody else on a coach. Listen, I, I would have liked to see Joe Judge get another shot. I understand the frustration. But again, you lost so many pieces throughout the season. The injuries really killed him. Did he lose the team? Did he not lose the team? Does his philosophy not mesh with the players? I'm really not sure. Bottom line now is, though, there are, with, with what's happened with... With you know the guy in Miami getting Flores, yeah, Flores getting 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 announced. I mean that's that's a real serious candidate. And now you're having you know this talk about Harbaugh, and this is a guy who could come into a Giants program. And in my personal opinion, is he would love a job like that in oh. the New York market. It's built for him. He could reorganize that team. Foundational organization, yeah. New York City, that Giants. Has, that has Harbaugh written all over you it. You win a me. Super Bowl, that would be exciting That's if it. Jim Harbaugh yeah. was in the New York marketplace. Yep. How about your Jets? Jets really into the offseason, yep. they go. But big moves for Joe Douglas. A lot of money to spend. Two ones, two twos, two fours. A lot of draft capital as well. Right. And Wilson showed himself a little bit toward the tail end of the season. Yeah, you know, listen, we, we use the word epic or historic when it comes to draft capital and free agent you know, uh, uh, money to spend. Zach did show us something towards the end of the season. You know, my concern really is that left tackle spot. Makai Becton, you know, he was absent most of the year. He was their big draft pick a couple years ago, and he's he's not stable. And no. he's heavy, and he doesn't stay healthy. So the concern there is what, what are you going to do? You could re-sign Fant, obviously, and keep him at left tackle. Give Becton a shot at right tackle, but we'll see. I don't think Morgan Moses is going to get re-signed. So, I so. again... If we're talking about a franchise quarterback, the biggest thing you got to do for a guy like that is what? You got to get the guys up front settled. We're not settled yet. No. I, it's got to get settled and it's got to get settled this offseason so we can go in and finally say, okay, we're going to protect the quarterback and give the kid a shot. And especially you got a running back in Michael Carter who can run oh, football. Uh, uh, they got weapons now. They do. You got Elijah Moore, Carter. Hey, Braxton Berrios is a weapon. Right? He is a weapon. He's running that now jet you got to try and bring like him Debo. back because he's going to be yeah, a free agent. No yeah, doubt. Yeah, you got to bring him back. So there's pieces coming together. But you got to solidify that line up front. Joe Douglas cannot ignore that now. All right, divisional round edition here, pick, win, drive, right? We've got interesting matchups to look ahead to. You're going to get Bills Chiefs this upcoming weekend. Some great You're going to, oh, there's no doubt about it. Where are you going for your selection divisional round? Well, let, let's first say my pick last week. It, it, it was a complete disaster. Yeah. I mean, you and I, I were both love the Eagles. You know what? Immediately, I was like regretting that selection. Well, listen, the, the bummer is. You know, I, I played games all weekend, and I did very well. The one I put, you know, my most faith in and come off of the community is the Eagles. And look what they do. They do nothing. Jalen Hurts. I know. I mean, he couldn't. He was How terrible. are you not getting Devonta Smith involved in the game? I have no idea. They were terrible. The and offensive strategy. And he was on one-on-one -on -one coverage with the safety up top. And they, were, and they were in that game, and they did nothing. They nothing. did nothing. Nothing. The they, had every they, they had every opportunity. They didn't take the opportunity. It wasn't a great didn't. wild card weekend. No, listen, the games were not phenomenal. I looked at the 
San Francisco Dallas game was probably the game of the weekend, yeah. right? That was a good game. Other things, pretty much as we expected. I mean, the Chiefs dominated, and we expected that. The Raiders put up a pretty good fight. Yeah, and uh, then unfortunately, Jerome Boger and the whistle. Oh, oh and the yeah, I mean, that, that, that was board, a debacle. That overtakes that entire game. It does. That was a debacle. But congratulations to the Bengals. First playoff victory for that Incredible franchise in 31 for the city. years. Incredible for the city, and they're going to have a shot in that next game. It's going to be tough. You got King Henry coming back for the Titans, so they're going to make it difficult. You know what was a nice touch by Zach Taylor, the Bengals coach? He gave a, a local bar a game ball. I saw that. I saw that. Incredible stuff. Which is great. Incredible stuff. All right, two teams that advised this past week. Titans, they're home. They're going to be uh, taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. And the Packers, they're yeah. home. They're going to be taking on Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers. Where are we going with our divisional round pick? We're going to take one of the bye teams. Okay. We're, we're going to look at the Packers against San Francisco. All right, they're a five-point favorite. Garoppolo going into Lambeau. We know how good Rodgers is going to be the MVP of the league. Where are you going? Going to take the 49ers to keep this train going? Or are you going to take Rodgers and the Packers? Yeah, I feel bad going against the team that saved me yesterday with, with a win. But... Uh, Listen, Jimmy G showed his true colors in the fourth quarter. Uh, you got Boza probably not going to play. Concussion, right. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very difficult. Packers are at another level right now. Aaron Rodgers, I think, is at another level right now. I think they're extremely well coached. Yes, San Francisco can establish the run. We know that. I think they're going to put, I think the Packers are going to apply pressure, load the box, and say, Jimmy G, try and beat us. And I don't think he can. Packers lay in five yeah. against the 49ers. That's Michael Brown's division round pick. Now it's up to you. Go to shopempireauto.com slash pick win drive. Register. It's free. F-R-E-E free. Costs you absolutely nothing. If Michael's selection is correct, you register. We draw your name among the participants. You know what? You get a shot at Toyota Corolla at the end of the football season. Michael's on record. Green Bay, go pack, go. Let's lay go in pack. the five against San Francisco. Michael, good luck to you. Thanks, Moose. You got it. Good luck to you.